Good morning, sir. Good morning. You said it was important, Ben. Yes, sir. It's about this policy. Joseph Mariano, $25,000, straight life. Uh, well, sir, I was going through the files looking for underinsured clients and trying to get them to beef up their coverage when I discovered, sir, that uh, there is no Joseph Mariano. So he died. We win some, we lose some. That's what insurance is about. Uh, no, sir. It appears there never was such a person. No, a man who doesn't exist can't pay premiums. I agree, Mr. Bartlett, but that's not the only one. There were two more last week. Ben, go back to work and get some business. Your figures last month weren't very exciting, you know. All right. Never mind. I'll check it out. Yes, sir. trouble. One of our salesmen turned up a file today. Tell him it was a computer error. He found two others last week. Has he talked to anyone else? No, he came right here first. He didn't walk out satisfied. I think he'll talk. See that he doesn't get the chance. Make a call. thinking about those policies. It's just a clerical error. No, it's not, love. I dug around and found 16 more policies on people that don't exist, big policies. And 10 of them have already been paid off. Every one, a double indemnity. So who do I go to in the company? Mr. Jensen? Bartlett can't be in on this by himself. Those files are checked and rechecked too often. Then quit, honey. Get out. I'll get it. No more cheating. <laughs> Hello. I'm from Allied Funding and Insurance. Is Mr. Grover in? Honey? Someone from your company. Uh, Mr. Grover? Yes. Hi, I've got something for you. His wife is dead. Okay, talk to him for a second. I think so. Yeah. Mr. Grover, Lieutenant Gordon, look, I'm sorry about. Do you know the man? Your neighbor said he heard him mentioning some Allied funding. Isn't that where you work? 
Yes. I'm an insurance salesman. Everybody knows that. I pass out cards all the time. Who would want to kill your wife? Nobody in this world. Bob? Yeah. Want to take him to Central Receiving? Here you go. Well, you look at this mess. Must have emptied a whole clip. Three bullets hit her. One bullet grazed him. Caused so much blood, the killer probably thought he'd done his job. The killer empties his gun into a girl who has no enemies, wipes it, chucks it back into the room so he's nice and clean in case he gets picked up outside. That means he's a professional. And that also means we may have a mugshot. Yeah, well, it all happened so fast, you know. It was, it was a loud sound, and, and the lights went on. I don't remember what else happened. Try closing your eyes for a minute. Now think. An odor? Maybe he smoked cigars. Sound. You found him? No, no. After a while, all these guys start to look alike. May I go now? Yeah. If I had a cardiogram hooked up to him, the needle would have jumped right off the tape when he saw one of these faces. If he spotted the man, why would he keep him from us? Now, you called about Ben Grover. I have his resume here. What do you want to know? I want to know anything you can tell me. Does he make money? Does he gamble? See the kind who stands alone by the water cooler. Pardon me, my secretary's out. Uh, Bartlett here. Mr. Bartlett, this is Ben. Oh, yes. Listen, I won't be in for a while. Of course, uh, I understand, yes. I'm going to be spending some time with the kids at Little League. It's a good idea. Yeah, Aileen used to love to sit in the park on Grand Street and watch me with the kids. This has to be one of those unfortunate bits of, well, insanity that goes unexplained. You have over a hundred salesmen. Do you know each of them that well? Personnel does. Four years in the service, honorable discharge after five years. Maybe he made an enemy in the service. It happens all the time. Somebody did this to him five years after his discharge? I was trying to help you out now. You're questioning me like I'm a defendant. That comes from my police background. Oh, but you're a doctor. I thought you worked on emergencies. That's right. This time I'm trying to prevent one. Boulder, you messed it up. I said, don't come here. I said to get him. He'll be in the park with a little I picked up the extension inside. I heard. I love to look at your face. Oh, Beth. Sometimes I think you love me too much. How much is that? What if something bad happened to me? It already had. You married me, didn't you? All right, get him up. And don't get brave. You boys are late for practice. How can we practice without a coach? Go on, I'll be there in a second. Say your prayers and die like a dog. Don't say that! I'm sorry, Joey, but killing is no game. Come on, Ben. My father said you were in some kind of special unit in the Army, like a commando. What was hardest to learn? To learn how to hate. Could you kill a friend? No. Suppose you got orders. 
I'd have to learn how to hate him. Then I'd follow orders and the rest is easy. Hating is the hard part. It isn't easy. I mean, killing is no game, boys. It's a bad thing to learn how to do because once you learn something like that and you're good at it, it's hard not to use. Do you understand what I mean? Learn to love. It's easier. Hey, you boys run along now. I'll catch up with you. Go on, hurry up. Hi. Bag of popcorn, please. Thank you. Somebody? Not yet. I want to talk to you a bit before I kill you. What can I get you for your last meal? Peanuts, popcorn? Start walking. You crazy? Move. How much are you getting paid? You're not worth a nickel, you know that? Your friend's over there, and I should be in the middle, but that last move put you between us, didn't it? What's the matter? Are you nervous? Keep moving. One more move like that, and we'll do it right here. Do what? Shoot a few children? Hit some trees, maybe, like your friend? He has help now. Your friend's a bum. He had an easy setup. Walks in on an unarmed man and his wife playing a game of Scrabble and hits everything in the room but the target. Now he gets help from you, and right away you're in the wrong place. He's a sick man. She was 23 years old. Did you know that fella? Will you tell me where the grave is and I'll send some flowers for both of them? Put it down and back off. You're bluffing. Tony, he was the shoulder holster. You want to bet your life on that? Now turn around and back off. All right, let's go. Where are we going? The guy that hired you is waiting. Hey, how about a little of whatever your friend's drinking? <laughs> we drank it all up, didn't we, buddy? Hey, you're the baseball coach. Yeah. Hey, tell you what, Claire. Here's a buck. Get yourself some. <laughs> What about your friend? Ah, don't worry about him. He's asleep at all. I got an emergency call. A body in the park. Near where you coach the little leagues. He may have been involved with your wife's death. There are those who plant flowers and those who destroy them. Did you kill him, Ben? No, not really. What does that mean? Well, we're all a little responsible for each other's lives and deaths, don't you agree? Ben, you're in trouble. I want to help you, but I can't. Let me know what you're thinking. I haven't been thinking, Doctor. I've been too busy. I mean, I'm sure you understand the problems that arise when there's a death in the family. All the loose ends that have to be tied together. Mr. Bartman, Ben here. It was good of you to come to the funeral. The least I could do, Ben. Oh, not really. You could have cut out your tongue before you called those men to kill me. 
It wasn't my idea. Look, I, I didn't want to. Who did want to? Ben, please. Look, I don't know anything. Well, you better think about it, Mr. Bartlett. I'll be there in ten minutes. Take the private elevator. He just called. He's coming up. This time, do it yourself. You can tell the police he was deranged over his wife's death. But I can kill... It's him or you. Okay, I'm not the greatest looking cop on the force, but I've got heart. I let you work that part. I keep it clean. I, I pick up the papers, the rag, maybe an old hat. Yeah, maybe a wallet or two, huh? From someone's pocket. If it's on the ground, somebody's dropped it, and there's no ID. Clara, I am gonna throw the book at you. Doc, will you leave this poor woman alone? Don't go bandage a tree. How's your nephew, Clara? Fine, Doc. Thanks for getting them to fix him up. Simon. You get out of my office. This is not your office. Do you know anything? Doc, I want to live. You get involved with hit men and you die. Clara, come on over here, will you? Please. Pick a face. The corpse's name is Tony G. We know that, Clara. Who made him a corpse? There are two of them. That's one of them. Joe Boulder, button man. And why didn't you ever arrest him? Because most citizens don't cooperate the way you do, Clara. Now, who's the other one? The coach. What coach? The little league coach? Hey, get out an APB and Ben Grover. Attention, all able units. APB Ben Grover, male Caucasian. for yours. That's how it was told to me. You were a soldier once. How, how do you handle it? You kill, Mr. Barton. Kill? Like Aileen. She was a beautiful person. You met her once, remember? When you interviewed me for the job. Ben, if I could cut off my arm to correct it, I would. But Gruder threatened me. Call him. Ben, please. I've got a family. Well, I don't anymore. <laughs> Call him. Okay. Okay. All right, Ben. What do I tell him? What? Tell him you got a big problem and you got to see him right away and make sure you don't get turned down. Yes? You better get over here. What's up? Never mind. Get over here fast. Or I'll talk. I swear the whole thing is blowing up. Fortune cash in here, Ben. You can have it all, all of it. I, I, I know it doesn't help much, but sometimes. Three, I believe, on APB Ben Grover, license Alpha Whiskey Alpha 142, in the lane next to Allied Insurance on Maribel.
Join us, Mr. McGurder. That's right, I'm going to kill you. No, don't! He didn't have a gun. Threatened to kill me. With what? I'm going to see my lawyer. <sighs> Mr. Bartlett can tell you what happened. He saw everything and he knows I didn't have a gun. Mr. Bartlett is a frightened man. He can tell you about Aileen and the insurance racket. Anything else you want to know about? Don't talk, then. How about that, Aileen? I got them all. I didn't kill anybody. sent to them right away. This is Grover's family called Long Distance. They asked if we could send them some of their things. Apparently, they couldn't afford to come to the funeral. Why didn't you have someone from headquarters take care of it? Jack, I'm trying to understand him. I want to know what went on inside of him. It was just another case, and it's closed? If I were in a hospital and a patient of mine died from some unknown disease, I try to find out what it was to help the next patient. Mm -hmm. 